。石西元以普济劝善作为属校嘅校训，本处以学生为本，因材施教嘅办学理念。透過提供我哋全方位嘅課程，啟發我哋學生個人嘅潛能。除咗着重學科知識嘅傳授，石石園亦都重視培養我哋學生去建立積極嘅人生觀，以達至新心靈嘅均衡發展。學風中學自一九七四年創校，係一所第一組別嘅中學，喺荃灣區以至全港都享負盛名。鬼靈學生響理想。舒適嘅環境裏面學習同埋成長，學風中學持續去優化校園設施。二零三年增建學校新翼，二零一五年設立體適能中心啦，校園電視台、樂隊練習室，只響二零二零年就着手設立 STEM 教學活動室。呢啲設施都係配合學生嘅學習需要，有助培育同埋發展佢哋嘅多元才能。另外，學風中學近年增購咗好多嘅先進嘅電子教學器材，包括添置大量嘅平板電腦，響每個課室同埋特別室安裝七十五寸輕觸式顯示屏，全面去實施電子學習。學風校外設施不斷優化，為同學提供更有利嘅學習環境，令學習更加得心應手。多年嚟，同學喺學術上力求突破，獲得驕人嘅成績。學風中學嘅學生。多年以嚟喺學術方面都有卓越嘅表現，佢哋喺中學文文試裏邊考到三三二二，即係話中國語文啦、英國語文科得到第三級，以及數學同埋通識達到第二級嘅成績嘅百分比係非常之高。二零二零年嘅百分比就去到九十三個 percent。陳柏傑同學同埋黃咗同學都分別喺二零一六年同埋二零一七年。中學文憑試考到六科五星星嘅基運成績，佢同埋另外幾位同學都入讀香港收生成績中位數最高嘅中大環球醫學系。當可風學生完成咗佢哋嘅中學階段之後，好多都可以升讀本港嘅大學。歷年累計有唔少個學生入讀醫學院、牙醫、法律、環球商業同埋精算呢啲學系。由第一届中学文文试至到而家，可风学生嘅大学入学率持续上升。响二零二零年，有九十 percent 学生响联招里面咧获得学士学位课程嘅取录，当中有一半嘅学生入读香港大学、香港中文大学同埋香港科技大学。除学术之外，可风一向都着重学生嘅全人发展，积极鼓励学生参与社会服务。同埋推薦學生申請各項嘅獎學金。劉傑雄同學同埋顧子田同學分別喺二零一五年同埋二零一八年，因為參加呢個社會服務有傑出嘅表現，而獲得民政事務局多元卓越獎學金，全額資助大學費。喺二零一八年就讀中二嘅錢卓謙同學和何歡虛戰，成為全港唯一獲得大中華獎學金嘅學生。得到全額嘅資助，入讀英國著名嘅寄宿男校拉德利公學。唔知前卓謙同學嘅近況點咧？等我聯絡下佢先。Hi Kim。Hi, my name is Kim Chin. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Ho Feng for giving me this chance to apply this、uh, Greater China Scholarship. Well, thanks to that, I'm now studying in Ratley College in my year ten with full sponsorship. It's a lovely environment here, and、um, there's lots of opportunities for me to explore and discover new things. And I would really encourage my schoolmates in Hofeng to apply for the scholarship and give it a try.、Um, all in all, I wish Hofeng the best and、uh, congratulations for the forty-fifth anniversary. Hi, Darren. Would you please share with us the English learning environment in Hofeng? It's definitely my pleasure to share with you all. As our school is EMI based, almost all subjects and daily announcements are conducted in English, immersing students into an ideal English learning environment. For junior forms, 
there are arrangements that cater for different academic needs of students so that teachers can always develop students' English level depending on the ability of each class through ways like splitting students into groups for lesson discussion, conducting e-learning, etc. in addition to external programs like rugby, debates and drama. All of us certainly have a wonderful time learning English in whole form. Hi Marco, you have done a brilliant job being part of the English debate team as your team has won many championships in the external English debating competitions. The most remarkable must be the championship at the 34th Sing Tao in the School Debating Competition 2019. Could you share your job with Hofeng schoolmates? The champion was both wonderful and unexpected to our team, as all our opponents were outstanding and experienced. It was fortunate that we could stand up from the crowd and got the championship. I'd like to express my greatest gratitude to our principal, teacher trainers, teammates and Hofeng supporters. Having experienced many debates beforehand, our team has gained a lot of confidence and I gradually became bold to express my opinions in a logical and organized way as well. How can you strike a balance between study and activities? Time management is significantly important. Debate sharpens my skills of handling my time effectively so as to attain a balance between activities and my study. Concentrating on finishing a task without being distracted is also another essential skill which helps me a lot. In the Dongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongjongj